China and Japan are about to take the concept of war to a whole new level, as tensions between the two nations grow dangerously. Complete with tens of allies picking sides, billions of dollars in spending, and powerful war-dictating hypersonic missiles, a war between these two world powers could send more shockwaves around the world than a nuclear explosion. And it's all thanks to certain events that have caused massive tension between the two nations. Too many events over the last few years have contributed their fair share of tensions between China and Japan, each one inching the nations closer to war with each other. Every year since 2012, Chinese coastal vessels have intruded into Japan's territorial waters at least 19 times, a number that has gotten as high as 52 times a year. Each of these intrusions are considered intentional provocations by China in waters that it doesn't recognize as belonging to Japan, but instead to Taiwan. And China has long claimed Taiwan is a Chinese breakaway province that it plans to reabsorb. The US and allies such as Japan have promised to maintain Taiwan's sovereignty, even if that means war with China. Last year saw the most frequent and prolonged presence of Chinese vessels in the disputed waters at 352 days. As recently as last month, on February 8th, Chinese Coast Guard vessels passed just outside of the territorial waters of Japan-controlled islands, which China also claims. This was the 49th day in a row. With each voyage, it seemed like the Chinese ships inched nearer and nearer to the islands, almost like they were surveilling them. Just a week prior, on February 1st, a Chinese guided missile destroyer and frigate crossed the waters between Okinawa and the Miyako Islands as they moved south, causing the deployment of a Japanese self-defense force warship and a reconnaissance aircraft. On Saturday, February 3rd, a reconnaissance ship passed the area to the north, then on Sunday, the Chinese reconnaissance ship showed up in the waters again. On Monday, February 5th, the guided missile destroyer and the frigate were spotted crossing the waters between Okinawa and Miyako. China routinely sends Coast Guard vessels and planes into waters and airspace surrounding these islands to harass Japanese vessels in the area and force Japan to scramble jets in response. It has worked repeatedly against Japan. Japan has warned China's vessels against further approaching the islands, called the Senkaku in Japanese, while Beijing calls them the Diaoyu. For the Chinese, there could be consequences. According to the Japanese Coast Guard, the actions of its Chinese counterparts violate international law. And since their presence there is extremely unpredictable, they become extremely dangerous. A missile strike from these waters could take seconds to strike Japan, leaving no time for any effective response. In August 2022, China launched five missiles into Japan's exclusive economic zone to the east of Taiwan. According to analysts, the launches were a warning to both the United States and Japan about coming to the aid of Taiwan in the event of a conflict there. Some sort of reminder that Chinese missiles could strike not only Taiwan, but also American bases in the region, such as the Kadena Air Base on Japan's soil, as well as any marine invasion forces. Clearly, the trigger events for conflict between China and Japan are countless. In response to China's invasive actions, Japan has begun investing heavily in military assets that would not only defend Japan in light of Chinese attacks, but could also enable Japan to take the fight to China. This is in contrast to Japan's near-century-long vow of peace post-World War II, which forbids the nation from wielding primarily offensive military assets. But desperate times call for desperate measures, and from Japan's perspective, these are the most desperate of times. And the resulting desperate measure by Japan is a mighty destructive arsenal of missiles. Japan's Arsenal of Missiles China's intrusions into Japan's territories have been grave issues of national security. When the five Chinese missiles landed in 2022, the Japanese government issued a formal protest to China and called on it to immediately stop its intrusive military exercises.
But that was far from all the government did. Unsurprisingly, China's activities have strengthened the argument for a more military-armed Japan. Japan has been working closely with its allies, particularly the United States, to make this happen. Preparing for a potential conflict, military planners have increased coordination with American forces and moved more troops and missile batteries to islands in southern Japan, which could be on the front lines of the clash. There have been talks around Japan hosting American nuclear weapons on its soil, talks that were unthinkable just a decade ago when Japan's vow of peace was still very much in place. But aside from stronger formations with the US and its assets, Japan's survival may also rest on its own first strike and counter strike abilities. Conflict with China could easily divert American resources to other uses, leaving Japan in a bit of a situation. Efforts are therefore underway to heavily arm Japan itself, with war dictating missiles built by Japan or purchased from allies. Here are the most notable of these missiles. The Type 12 missile. Within days of the 2022 missile intrusions, a Japanese newspaper, Mainichi Shinbun, reported that the Japanese Ministry of Defense is looking at accelerating the deployment of the upgraded version of the Type 12 surface-to-ship missile under development. Four months after that, in December 2022, Japan adopted a new security strategy that would actually make that happen. The new and upgraded missile would be able to safely attack enemy naval vessels from outside the range of enemy anti-aircraft missiles. Following this strategy, Japan's defense ministry signed contracts in April 2023 with the nation's top defense contractor, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The contracts, worth nearly $2.8 billion, would see Mitsubishi rapidly mass-produce an unknown number of the upgraded Type 12 missiles and have them ready for deployment as soon as 2026. They would be a game-changer for Japan. The Type 12 missile, which originally had a 124-mile range, would now have its range more than quadrupled to 560 miles, with plans to upgrade it even further to 745 miles. The shape of the missile has also been modified for a smaller radar cross-section. This makes the missile more stealthy and difficult to intercept by enemy air defense systems. The new Type 12 will implement up-to-date command, which allows the missile to receive information about the target via satellite communications while in flight, and therefore attack moving targets more accurately as it flies at hypersonic speeds greater than Mach 5. And considering that the Japanese government is currently planning to give the Japanese Navy the capability to strike ground targets, these missiles would be capable of striking targets deep into not just China, but fellow rival North Korea too. And that is still not all. The new Type 12 missile will not only be produced in the conventional ground-launched version, but also in ship and aircraft-launched versions. Whatever the theater, this missile is looking to cause some real trouble for Japan's enemies. But it is still a few years in the future, and Japan needs protection from China as quickly as yesterday. This is where a globally known American hypersonic missile comes into play. Enter the Tomahawk. The Tomahawk. Pending the deployment of the new Type 12 missiles, the American-made Tomahawk is slated to defend China during a conflict. The Japanese government is planning to purchase up to 400 of these missiles, enough to blast a hole in not just rival soil, but also through time. The Tomahawk does its job better than most and is a frequent mention in Hollywood military movies thanks to that. Like the Type 12, the Tomahawk is a primarily ship-based weapon capable of being launched on land. On the seas, the $2 million Tomahawk missile is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered, subsonic cruise missile used by both surface ships and submarines. Its modular design allows for compatibility with a range of warheads, including high explosive, submunitions, and bunker busters. The Tomahawk can utilize a variety of guidance systems, including GPS, inertial navigation, and terrain contour matching. A sea-based Tomahawk strike involves the missile launched from vertical launching systems, or torpedo tubes, and then flying up to 164 feet in the sky at speeds of up to Mach 0.7, 
en route to striking its target 1,550 miles away. The Tomahawk is one of the few missiles on the planet readily available to deploy both conventional and nuclear warheads. With an arsenal of powerful subsonic and hypersonic missiles in the works, Japan clearly isn't here to play. Its national security remains a priority above all else, even if it has to go against its own constitution, which forbids the type of weapons it needs. In response to all of these, China is also building a formidable arsenal of its own. Chinese Arsenal China has placed a priority on hypersonic missiles more than most. Now, after more than a decade of expert work and investments worth $10 billion, China's hypersonic missiles, all impressively maneuverable, have grown into some of the most unstoppable missiles on the planet. They include the DF-17. The conventional and nuclear-capable DF-17 is currently the face of Chinese hypersonic missile capability. The 36-foot-long, 33,000-pound hypersonic missile reaches speeds exceeding Mach 5, has a maximum altitude of 60 miles, meaning it almost reaches space, and has an impressive fuel efficiency as high as 79%, which makes it capable of an operating range as far as 1,600 miles. The DF-17 has been tested seven times and has an outstanding success rate of 100%. DF-27 The latest addition to China's hypersonic missile arsenal, the nuclear-capable DF-27, is a missile with a maximum range between 3,000 to 5,000 miles, meaning that it can strike any target in East or Southeast Asia and large parts of the Pacific where the U.S. could be positioned in defending Taiwan against China. According to reports, the missile was successfully tested in February 2023. With hypersonic missiles on both sides of the ring, the questions remain, when will the missiles begin flying? Or will the missiles begin flying at all? Whatever the answers will be, only China and Japan know them. But you can help them decide by doing two very important things. Giving this video a like and subscribing to this channel. So do that now, and thanks for watching.